Hello everyone, Sarah and Talia doing our weekly report. We mentioned last week we were going to bring a special guest, so today we've brought you Craig Marsh. <laughs> he is our special guest on our weekly report today. Um, we got a new sort of style we are implementing is a get to know people within our community and we thought Craig would be a great candidate for that today. So um, we, Thank I you. met, <laughs> pleasure. We, um, I met Craig prior to him joining the real estate game for a little while. Sarah met him when he joined the team at Herbert's. Yeah, now I'm no longer in real estate. No, I'm now not. the uh, Liberal Party candidate for Mount Gambia. You are. So I thought, what about if you told us a little bit about yourself and your story, like your career and things? Okay. Well, I, I moved to Mount Gambia in 1998 with the Weather Bureau. Yep. Uh, prior to that, um, look, I joined the Weather Bureau in 1987. Um, and uh, I, I worked in f f sort of various, uh, quite isolated places before coming he, to Mount he, Gambia. He, he worked in Antarctica? Yeah, I'll get to that. Sorry. I'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, so before that, I worked at a place called Giles Weather Station, which is 450 kilometres west of Ayers Rock. So yeah. if you know where Ayers Rock is, mm. 450 k's west, it's pretty isolated. Yeah, nowhere. Yeah, so was, there were six of us out there. There was uh, four, um, <laughs> four weather people and... Uh, a chef, who we called a cook back in those days, and a mechanic, and the mechanic kept uh, the generators going that gave us power so we could do our weather observations and all that sort of stuff. Now, uh, after that, came back to Adelaide, I worked in Edinburgh for a while, Edinburgh Air Force Base that is, and I went to a place called Woomera for four and a half years. Woomera is just north of Port Augusta. Yep. So another place in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's where I met my wife, actually. Yeah. And yeah, we got engaged and got married and then um, we took our honeymoon in Antarctica for 14 months. That so was with the Weather days. Bureau. Mm. Yeah. Yes, and yeah, pretty cold place. But, uh, <laughs> went from hot to cold. <laughs> yes. And so when we came back from Antarctica, we decided that we wanted to come to a place where the weather was a bit more satisfactory. So looked at the map and a little place in southern South Australia, yeah, Gambia. Mount Gambia. So yeah, we came here 18 years ago and for that time I um, I was on the radio a lot. I was the weatherman on the radio, 7.30 every morning, ABC. We wanted uh, to give us a weather forecast. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you, it's quite warm. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we're standing in shade. Yeah, and uh, so because I was I was on the radio a lot. Of, I, I got um, a fair amount of exposure. I got known as Mount Gambia's weatherman. And uh, yeah, and that led me into real estate once I, I finished with the Weather Bureau. Now, I should tell you, look, I, I was offered a job up in Adelaide, but I didn't want to leave Mount Gambia because I love Mount Gambia. And so after 30 years in the Weather Bureau, I figured I'll let that job go and I'll find another one. And I was lucky enough to, uh, to get a job in real estate. That lasted six months because um, this position came up with the Liberal Party and um, I put my hand up. Uh, it contested the pre-selection with two other people and mm -hmm. won the pre-selection and now I'm uh, the Liberal candidate for Mount Gambia. Yeah, so that's well, the next chapter for you. Yes, it is. And uh, yeah, and look, the reason I wanted to take that route, it's the same reason I didn't go to Adelaide with the Weather Bureau is because I'm quite passionate about Mount Gambia. I'd love to see like the potential that Mount Gambia's got realised. And I think, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of ways we can do that. You know, we can, we can improve the infrastructure, especially with our airport. Yep. You know, um, yeah, upgrading our airport and finding a way to entice another airline into the region so that we've got so uh, competition, competition, competition yep. to drag those prices down. And, and the service. Now, we know that the service is terrible. We've, we're seeing every other day a, a plane is cancelled and people are stranded and you know and well that's if you're lucky enough to buy a ticket because you know sometimes they're four or five hundred dollars so you know enticing another airline here would be fantastic would be. you know Im improving improving staffing at our hospital i think you know just recently the liberal party announced uh an upgrade to the renal unit if they're elected in march yep I think that's that's sort of the last leg of what needs to be upgraded, but we need to look at uh, ways of of improving staffing, and one of it is is the doctors. We've we, we can't seem to get long term doctors in the region. Yeah. We have a lot of locums, and locums are expensive. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our our health dollars are being wasted on these locums coming to town when we could have doctors living here in town. And you know, 10, 15 years ago, we were able to track doctors here that have stayed here for yeah. for quite a long time uh 
we'd love to see that happen yeah. again. And I think majority of the community would love to see those things that you mm. mentioned as we'll well. We'll sell them a house. Yeah, we'll, we'll, sell them a well house. that's that's the thing. If we can improve, uh, you know, all all these these parts of Mount Gambier, improve the potential of Mount Gambier yeah. to to grow will actually need a greater population so that'll bring people to town and that will lift house prices make make your job a bit busier though a bit busier that's yeah. all right we like to be busy craig <laughs> no yeah. thank you so much we've loved having you um and yeah we hope you've enjoyed our weekly report Get and thank you craig. yeah thank you for listening to me and look for me on facebook craig marsh liberal for for Gambia. yeah do it mm. check it out <laughs>